There are things that only God can do, and there are things that he expects us to do. Notice verse number seven. It says, that, verse number seven, the angel of the Lord comes on him, light shines in the prison, smote Peter on the side, raised him up. It says, arise up quickly, and his chains fell from off his hands. He broke off the chains. Peter couldn't do that. The Lord did that. Notice verse number nine. And he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but, but thought that he saw a vision. He leads him out of the, uh, the, the prison, verse number 10. And when they were past the first and second go- uh, ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of its own accord. Peter couldn't do that. The Lord did that. But he also left Peter to do his part. Notice in verse number seven, where it says, arise up quickly. See, the Lord said, get up. If you get up, I'll drop the chains. If you put on your clothes, I'll lead you out. If you'll follow me, I'll open up the gates. What am I saying here this morning? If we do our part, God will do his part. Trust him to do the impossible if we simply will obey and do the possible. Stop expecting God to do the impossible in your life when you won't do what he has already told you to do. Do what he has told you to do and then trust him with that which you cannot do and let him take over.